Hello folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy X and today we're going to be getting a secret Aeon. Now, all the Cloister of Trials we've been doing, I've been telling you it's important to collect the secret item in each one and I've been showing you how to do it. The reason being is that once you've got all six secret items, you are well on the way to getting the secret Aeon we're going to be getting today. Now in the last Cloister of Trials we did here in Xanarkand Ruins, I mentioned that the secret item we needed uh, wasn't available. Uh, but now it is available, so that's why we have returned. If you, incidentally, haven't been following my walkthrough or have just missed any of the previous secret items in the Cloister of Trials that have come before this one, then you now have access to them again to go back and get them. And you can watch my uh, appropriate videos if you need help finding it. The only one you can't do, I think, is Bevel, so if you didn't get the secret item in Bevel, then, as far as I'm aware, you may have lost uh, the secret Aeon we will be getting. So we don't have to do the whole trials again, fortunately. We just need to activate... I don't even mean to do that. We just need to activate the white squares at the bolt there. So there's one here. There's seven in total. Uh, one here, I think. One just around yonder. Ah, oh, bugger, I got the wrong one. Okay, it's the one just in front of that. It's so I was going off memory. Probably not a good idea, so let's get them again. We want that. That. Two more in this room. That one that we'd already known about. And one just here. And now if we go back into here... These three are quite easy to remember. There's one there, one there, and one nicely positioned for us just there. That will give us access to the destruction sphere. At least that's a theory. We're going to have to watch some pretty patterns first. Here it comes, right on schedule. So we're going to pick that up. And I think we need to insert this. Just dodge all them, although I'm not sure anything bad would happen if we did go in it now. Uh, in this recess just here on the right. Does that do anything? Maybe, yeah. Woohoo. And that will give us our secret item. And our final secret item at that. The Magistral Rod. Let me just have a look at that, see if it's any good. I'm guessing it's for either Lulu or Yuna. But it'll be uh, Yuna, won't it, if it's a rod. Half MP cost. Eh, it's pretty sucky because we're going to be getting her uh, Celestial Weapon at some point, which will allow us to have one MP cost. As you can imagine, that's, yeah, a little bit better. So we are done here in the Xanarkand Cloister of Trials. Now we need to fly to... I mentioned this place previously. I think in the last episode we unlocked it, didn't we? The Barge Temple. Well, that's where we're going to now, anyway. If the game would like to load for me. There we go. It doesn't normally uh, wait that long. I haven't been here before, so this is a new experience for me. I don't think it's going to be wholly confusing. And I'm not sure if there are random enemy encounters here, but I do have the no encounters equipped on Auron. So hopefully we should be good. Uh, we need to go down into the water. I'm guessing that is going to be around here, isn't it, somewhere? Oh, that's interesting. The treasure chest has already been opened. And no, that's not how we get into the water. We just need to dive down into it, basically. It could be here. Yep, there we go. Oh, we get a little cutscene, maybe. What's up? Something here? I almost got eaten by a fiend here. Payback time. I get the picture. Alright, let's go. 
Okay. So we are going to be heading straight over for the exit here. Well, he says as he goes completely the wrong opposite direction. Uh, there's the door. Since we're underwater, we've got the usual three underwater breathing characters. And look at this. We have a boss. Aren't we the lucky ones? So we're going to go ahead and haste guard everybody up. Um, I'm just going to see if there's anything to steal. But why would I steal when I could mug? We could get a water gem. Hmm, I'm thinking we're going to need to armor bait this thing if that's possible. Nope, it's not. I don't actually know how much health this fella's got, to be honest. No idea whatsoever. But if he's going to keep giving us water gems, I'll keep taking them. But wow, man, this uh, guy's going to take a while, seeing as how we don't actually... Well, I guess we could use Riku, but I don't know what we could use with her to do damage. Uh... Should we do lightning damage? I don't think I want to waste those. Yeah, this is going to take a while. <laughs> and I think it does status ailments as well, this boss. So, uh, could be fun. I've no idea how much health this fella's got. I guess this is all I can do, isn't it? Knockout punch. Didn't quite knock us out, but thank you very much anyway. May as well use the overdrive from Waka. As soon as it's his turn, of course. We use the trick that somebody mentioned to me where you just sort of wait on the timer and you're guaranteed to get 3-2 hits then which will be 12 hits in total since it doubles. Seven seconds, the only problem is it does take a while to get to the counter which is somewhat annoying. There's got to be a trick to this boss that I'm missing. The trick is use Waka's overdrive. Back to the AP bank. Yeah. Damage wise, we didn't actually take any really, did we? Oh, we get a reflect ring. I guess that's somewhat useful, isn't it? Right, dive back down and head back over, please. Ah, anything on the floor there? Is that my imagination? No, nothing on the floor. Okay. Right, now we're going to head back over to the antechamber, which is where I was trying to get to originally. There's going to be some other treasures to get as well while we're here. Nothing tremendously exciting, but freebies nonetheless. It is a dungeon, but not a big one, so... The first item that we found from the Boys Patrol that was like the Of course, we will come to the chests. 
There should be four in total, although I'm not sure where they are, they've only got one. Oh, right, now there's only two treasure chests, my mistake. And just one more statue to activate or whatever. Hopefully you've uh, managed to get this as well, all six items, because we'll come in darn useful, I'll tell you that. Right, the seal's been removed now from the door, so we have access to the faith room. Mega bits here, oh, that's awesome. Right, let's see what goes on here. Probably get a cutscene, no doubt. Are Maester Seymour's mother. So you know, yet still you seek my aid. My son, do you not hate him? It is all right. He is the one who sowed the seeds of hatred. He is to blame. But I am at fault for letting him become what he was. He was always alone, half Guardo, half man. I wanted to give him the strength to live by himself. And so I became a Faith. But because I let him taste power, he began to thirst for more. He was not satisfied with my Aeon. He wanted more, more power. And he found sin. Yes. Come, Summoner. I will bestow you with my power. The Dark Aeon, Anima. Destroy sin and my son's obsession with it. Though it is small recompense for what I did to him. Right, so this is Anima, and quite a potent Aeon Anima is. Now, unlike the other secret Aeons, Anima is a standard Aeon that um, is treated normally in battle. You give it commands and it does those commands. And we get a trophy for our efforts as well. So, I'm not going to show you Anima in this episode, since... You can try it out for yourself, and we're going to use it in future episodes anyway. But in the meantime, <coughs> excuse me, I'll finish things off here. And I hope you'll join me next time as we continue on with Final Fantasy X. Bye, folks.